Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Daily Bread, July 10th. The Son of God became sin for the fallen race. What thou, my Lord, hast suffered was all for sinners gain mine mine was the transgression but thine the deadly pain lo here i fall my savior Tis I deserve thy place. Look on me with thy favor, vouchsafe to me thy grace. The Son of God became sin for the fallen race. But we see Jesus who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 9. We see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he, by the grace of God, should taste death for every man. For it became him for whom are all things, and by whom are all things, in bringing many sons unto glory, to make the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering. Through the agency of the Holy Spirit, a new principle of mental and spiritual power was to be brought to man, who, through association with divinity, was to become one with God. Christ the Redeemer and Restorer was to sanctify and purify man's mind, making it a power that would draw other minds to himself. It is his purpose by the elevating, sanctifying power of the truth to give men nobility and dignity. He desires his children to reveal his character, to exert his influence, that other minds may be drawn into harmony with his mind. As ye have therefore received Christ, Jesus, the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. Christ might, because of our guilt, have moved far away from us. But instead of moving farther away, he came and dwelt among us, filled with all the fullness of the Godhead to be one with us, that through his grace we might attain perfection. By a death of shame and suffering, he paid our ransom. From the highest excellency he came, his divinity clothed with humanity, descending step by step, to the lowest depths of humiliation. No line can measure the depth of his love. Christ has shown us how much our God can love and suffer in order to secure our complete restoration. The Son of God, in whom dwelt absolute perfection, became sin for the fallen race. He did not know sin by the experience of sinning, but he bore the terrible weight of the guilt of the whole world. He became our propitiation that all who receive him may become sons of God. The cross was erected to save man. Christ uplifted on the cross was the means devised in heaven of awakening in the human soul a sense of the sinfulness of sin. By the cross, Christ sought to draw all to himself. He died as the only hope of saving those who, because of sin, were in the gall of bitterness. This passage was taken from Signs of the Times, September 24th, 1902. Our Daily Bread, July 10th.
I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.